as the disciples were gazing up towards heaven, angels appeared unto them and said, This same Jesus, which is taken up from you into heaven, shall so come in like manner as you have seen him go into heaven. This is your daily devotional, Maranatha, the Lord is coming. Maranatha, a daily devotional by Ellen G. White. Protestantism unites with the papacy. And the ten horns which thou sawest are ten kings, which have received no kingdom as yet, but receive power as kings, one hour with the beasts. These have one mind, and shall give their power and strength unto the beasts. Revelation 17, verse 12 and 13. As we approach the last crisis, it is of vital moment that harmony and unity exists among the Lord's instrumentalities. The world is filled with storm and war and variance, yet under one head, the papal power, the people will unite to oppose God in the person of his witnesses. What is it that gives its kingdom to this power? Protestantism, a power which, while professing to have the temper and spirit of a lamb and to be allied to heaven, speaks with the voice of a dragon. It is moved by a power from beneath. These have one mind. There will be a universal bond of union, one great harmony, a confederacy of Satan's forces, and shall give their power and strength unto the beasts. Thus is manifested the same arbitrary oppressive power against religious liberty, freedom to worship God according to the dictates of conscience, as was manifested by the papacy, when in the past it persecuted those who dared to refuse to conform with the religious rites and ceremonies of Romanism. In the warfare to be waged in the last days, they will be united in opposition to God's people all the corrupt powers that have apostatized from allegiance to the law of Jehovah. In this warfare, the Sabbath of the fourth commandment will be the great point at issue, for in the Sabbath commandment, the great lawgiver identifies himself as the creator of the heavens and the earth. Through the two great errors, the immorality of the soul and Sunday sacredness, Satan will bring the people under his deceptions. While the former lays the foundation of spiritualism, the latter creates a bond of sympathy with Rome. The Protestants of the United States will be foremost in stretching their hands across the gulf to grasp the hand of spiritualism. They will reach over the abyss to collapse hands with the Roman power and under the influence of this threefold union, this country will follow in the steps of Rome in trampling on the rights of conscience. 